Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Abermats, on the AlphaCraft server. We're going to do some stuff around here today. I'm not going to venture out and do stuff outside. We did a long old inventoring session last time, so I need to develop this area a little bit more. So by the end of this session, I'm hoping that we're going to have a... I don't know about significantly more developed, but a more developed area. There's a couple of things I want to show you first. So turn myself around. So the first thing is, I've, uh, I can't remember if I said it the last, I completely lost it. But I've extended this out as far as I can actually make it go without it poking out the other side of the little hill that we've built into it. I granted I've not done this bit on the inside yet. I need to work on that. But here... This is, if I dig through here, it's the back of the hill. So I can't go any further. So this is the last one, because I do want to be able to access the back here, should anything go wrong. So I need that little channel there. So this is as full as it's going to be. But I've got most things, I think, really, um, that I'm going to need to sort that are in here. I've got a touch more, let's call it development. Development's a bit of an exaggeration. Hang on, let me just, I just need to get a few blocks out of here get that thank you very much so up here i've got my um shulker unloading system i'll pop that on there uh get this down and what that shulker is now doing is you can see that's unloading all of those items and that will carry on unloading let's pop those back in there as well and that will carry on unloading until such time as it's empty then i can come along and i can just go grab that and that will go into the hopper, pass all the way through the system. Because it's like it's not in the hopper anymore. It's not in the chest anymore. It's not in that hopper anymore. Oh no. That goes all the way through the system. So you can imagine all the way down through the hoppers, across the hoppers at the back, all the way back up here. And it takes a tiddly while. I mean just a little bit of a while. And it open up here. And eventually, there it is, just as I opened it up. That's quite good. It appears there. And I can collect it back up again. I'm just gonna um, I'm just going to keep hold of it for now, actually. I think it's what I'm going to do. And we'll worry about putting that stuff away later. And then here, in fact, no, I won't. I'm going to... The one thing that's negative about it that I need to work out, I'm going to work it out. That's terrible English, Avo, for goodness sake. What I need to work out, I'm going to work it out, is finding an easier way of putting it on because it's too high for me to place it whilst I'm on the floor. But I need to make a better system. So I'll, I'll think about that and work out how I'm going to do it. But that can sit there and unload and quite happily do that all over the place. And then over here, I've got, because look, I like roast chicken, or at least I do in Minecraft. What we've got here is a chicken cooker. And this chicken cooker, has it got anything yet? Oh no, it's literally, it's brand new. But what this chicken cooker will do is it will cook up grown up chickens, but it won't cook up baby chickens. Oh look, and every time uh, an egg is laid by, hang on, let's come around here, by the chickens in that section, it shoots out the egg and lays a baby chicken, or sometimes lays a baby chicken. And also at the same time, gives a little one tick squirt of lava and then sucks it back in again. Baby chickens are too small, big chickens are not too small, and it literally burns off their heads. And I collect all the lovely stuff in the bottom here. Superb. There is a tutorial for this that I've already done that's coming out on Monday, or Sunday, sorry. So just a couple of days after I publish this video. So I hope that... Um, that will be of interest to you and you'll be able to see how this works. Look, there it goes again. You'll see how this works and uh, how very, very efficient it is. It works superbly well. I need to make it a little bit prettier. Uh, one of the tutorials much prettier than this. Uh, this was a bit of a throw it together job. So I need to make it look better. But ultimately, they work in the same way. So you'll be able to see how that works in the tutorial that's coming out on Sunday. Uh, or is already out, depending on what day, you see this video. Right, I'm going to go and have a sleep and then we're going to get cracking because there's a couple of things I want to do before we get going. So we need to get ourselves over to Frills Base for the next thing that I want to do because I need to get myself into the end. That's my next thing. And uh, the 
the only way in is basically through frills base so that makes it dead dead easy to make a decision as to where I go next so let's get myself into the nether so I've started very 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 slightly started to model it here I mean it couldn't be less modeled frankly but at least I've got an actual room a little bit of consistency and a wooden opening so I'm going to do something around that uh, over the next couple of episodes I think um, it's not going to be part of the kind of the never hub standard decoration but in there it's going to be my decoration that is going to be a little bit rustic because obviously that's what Averville isn't needs to be in keeping with that so I'm just going to get myself over to frills which is a mile away and I will see you when I get over to there and into the nether so here we are we're in frillsville and we're just going into the end because in the end is what I need that thing we're not going that way or at least we're not at the moment we're gonna to have to go that way in a bit but we are going this way because I need to do a few things um, specifically if you look at my XP I've done some enchanting and I've only got nine levels of XP at the minute so I need to crank that up but also you'll notice my bow that is not particularly high which I'm not happy about in terms of its durability um, now I can't uh, mend that with mending but here this I can mend with mending this I can mend with mending. So I'm going to be mending these two items here with the experience that I earn from the farm at the same time as getting more experience, which will then allow me to combine the twangy bow with another bow and fix up that as well. So that's the logic. Anyway, it makes perfect sense to me. What I always do when I come in, I look in this box and I see how many Enderman heads have we got? It's interesting that Ender Pearl's gone in there. How many Enderman and how many Enderman heads have we got? There are four in there. So if when I come down, there are more than four in there, they are mine. If there are still four, then they're not mine. I haven't earned the heads, so I don't get to keep the heads. So that's my logic anyway. Uh, I've got my uh, Ender chest here with all my bits and pieces in it, and here are the beautiful people so what I can do is these are relatively um, harmed so if I if I hit them with a pickaxe that doesn't do a lot of good does it so that's not a lot of good so if I put the pickaxe in my offhand and then get my valerian steel sword and hold that in this hand and hit them that I believe if I understand it correctly will start to mend my pickaxe. So some of it will go into my um, experience inventory and some of it will not. So I'm just checking that that pickaxe is getting extra experience. Yes, it is. We are doing quite well. Loads of experience coming in. We're already at level 20. I love this farm. Frill and Smurf, you are officially genii. I love it. I love it a lot. You are absolutely covered in lamb sauce, which is a big old compliment. Right, right. Here we go. We're keeping going. And right, I'm going to carry on doing this and I'll be back when I've finished the task. So we have got a fully undamaged axe, a fully undamaged um, pick. Look here, nothing on there, nothing on there. We've got a fully undamaged sword and now all of my armour is fully undamaged. I am what's known in the trade as fixed and I managed to get myself very nearly 47 levels of experience at the same time. Very little point in me getting any more because each experience level costs more to get and actually it's relatively inefficient to go very, very high unless you're going to do a massive session. Now, what I'm going to do, you can see I've got loads and loads of ender pearls which don't necessarily want um, don't look at the enderman who happens to be on the stairs come down come down come down get out my way dude right check the thing there is still four that's a shame but never mind and then we're just going to get ourselves back up don't look at the enderman that inevitably are on the stairs here because they do occasionally teleport out of the ender ender and get myself back to my bedroom thank you very much so i'm just going to run along here and get myself through the portal i'll see you back at base well i was going to fix my bow with this normal bow so there's my twangy bow look it's got all sorts on it and i've got a normal bow 
that's just literally just been made. I just crafted it because I couldn't do it with another bow. And bang, 33. They want 33 enchantments for that. 33. But, I mean, but me hands are tied a little bit, aren't they, really? I've got the twangy bow there that I don't want to lose. The only thing that's not good about it is the fact that it's um, power 4 and not power 5. But forget trying to get power 5 onto that because it's going to be so expensive. But I need me bow. So there we go. 33 levels of enchantment and I'm back down to 6. Can you believe it? 6. Anyway, not that I'm bitter. Anyway, I'm just, I'm going. I'm, I'm lobbing an ender pearl because I can. There we go. So what I think, is it? Did I leave my... Yeah, I did. I couldn't remember if I did or not. So, what we're going to do... I think we're going to lay a few bits and pieces. What have I got in me chooky chook chook? Okay, so that's starting to collect very nicely. Thank you. Uh, I just want to watch a chicken die. Because I'm a bit evil like that. Oh, Kentucky Fried Chicken! There we go. So we've got lots of chuck. So I'm never going to want for chicken again, which is amazing. All I need to do is be active around the base. Because obviously when I'm not at the base, it's not rolling. And um, those chicky chuck chucks are going to be doing the biz. So I'm not going to work... Well, certainly not going to work much over there today. I might work a little bit over there, but I'm not going to work much over there. But what I am going to do is I'm going to start to build up um, a little bit more the road system, I think, and maybe start to template out some buildings. Even if I don't actually build them, I am going to template them out, I think, because I would like to start getting this place a little more structured. And of course, we've got um, the bit over here. I do love lobbing ender pearls about. We've got the bit over here. I might go down there, actually. I'll just put that down there. There we go. Um, so every now and again this cart stops working. I need to just give it a little bit of a push. There you go. No, go on. Get yourself going that way, pally pal. There you go. So he rolls back. And he off he goes. Okay, so much happier there. That's got a load of kelp in it. That then will fuel up these furnaces. We've got plenty of fuel in these. Yeah, we do. We are all good. And... I'm starting to collect a fair bit of kelp in there too. Okay, so that's all fine. But I've been planting trees down here because I need the wood. Wood is something that I'm properly struggling with. Um, which seems a bit daft, given that I was surrounded by wood when I found this place. But I, I really pump through the wood, and I don't quite know what I've pumped through the wood on. But I do, and it's, uh, it's surprising me. So I need to do something... I'm going to do a, like a proper wood farm. Not a ghastly wood farm because I've not got a boot. But you know, just a farm that means I can replenish my wood a little bit more. Get that there. But what I might do is I might work out a system where rather than for some of the things in the shop. Um, and I think maybe like the stone items. For some of the things in the shop I might not ask for diamonds. I might ask for like stacks of oak or stacks of birch or something like that and it just saves the time for me cutting down all these trees i've cut down loads of trees around here this was all completely forested but to be honest it just takes up so much time and then i've got to use enchantments to uh, xp to fix my axe and it's just a bit of a i'm being a bit of a grumpy pain i know i am a bit of a grumpy monster but all in all all i want to be able to do is make stuff that's what i'm good at and what i really want to do is I want to start making stuff at spawn, and we're going to be doing that fairly soon. We're going to start getting some really great buildings in spawn. I think I'm very excited about it, actually, um, especially with the start that we've made already. It's just absolutely superb. So I'm just going to plant up these oak because I do want to be building with oak. I'm going to leave that there. I'm not worried about it anymore. That's quite a lot of oak trees I've got going there. Anyway, let's get back. Um, I also need to make this a little bit more fancy. I don't like the fact that this is all just a slab of cobble. And I need to fancy that bit up there. That's not good. Oh, these are all things I've got to do. There's so much I need to do. Look, I'm digging into the mountain there um, in order to basically do some underground stuff that's not a mine. And then I've got all this road system that I want to put. I, have I overshot myself is my question. Not the sun's going down again. I'm going to go and sleep. I think I wonder whether or not I've overshot myself. I forgot where my bed was for a minute then. 
because every now and again I look around and I think have you are, are you asking too much of yourself sir and maybe I am maybe I'm not I don't know but I'm ambling and meandering around in my head about whether or not I, I, I'm biting off more than I can chew but we're going to give it a go anyway I'm just using up these ender pearls because I've got so many of them so what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves a load of bits I don't need that one so if I take out a load of cobblestone so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to use cobblestone and see I've not got nearly enough of that either have I where's my uh Right, I'm going to have to cross up some more steps, I think, because I've not got enough steps. Um, do, 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 do. No, wrong one. There we go. Like that. Oh, for goodness sake, man. Press the right buttons. How long have you been playing this game? Probably too long and I need sleep, I suspect, but that's a whole nother discussion. Let's get that like that. That like that. And that like that and that like that so I've now got loads of steps plenty of steppage that that and that can go back in and then I can use my diamond shovel to work out where we're going to start to put these roads now this road is deliberately close to this building but I am eventually going to be bringing it out so I want to bring it out so as this bit in the corner here remains green but I don't want it to be just one block of green because that it just doesn't look enough so I'm just going to amble around the side of that there and that means that we've got one two with this one three so one two three one two three um, one two three and then this is one two three one two three one two three see this is the counting with avo at its most simple so we've got three and then we've got to take out another one at the edge there. Come down one in there, one in there, and one in there. So then, this is how I work my roads out, people. It's not a scientific process by any stretch of the imagination, is it? So come around there. Then that, hang on, hang on. Have I, one, two, three. So that has to be there, which means that is there, which means that is like that and that comes around like that there you go i do know what i'm talking about so this um oh no but that's going to be like that though isn't it and that's only two gap i've done it wrong uh yeah i have done i've done it wrong so that needs to come out there that's like that that's like that that needs to come out there that's like that that's like that and that's like that there we go i think that now is right because that um no i should have done this side first oh for goodness sake okay so we've got one two three that's only got two this means that's too narrow so let's get that out that needs to come out there that needs to come out there no, don't make it a path. That needs to come out there. And then they... Oh, no, you do it with your shovel, man. There. Shovel. One, two, three. So that's got that gap there. There. There, there and there so that should have three right okay we got there in the end right so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it up with cobble to start with and then we can add in so this is my speedy way of doing it that's not good that's only got two I don't like that so that comes out that comes out and that comes out like that Oh, you get the picture, right? I mean, you got to give me a break. I've not had sleep in 48 hours. I have, really. I'm just making excuses now. So that is the road as it stands. So it comes out there, and it actually... I wonder whether it should... I'm just. This is just for me to check aesthetics, because theoretically, it should do that, shouldn't it? Is that right? 
So that comes out and then goes out in that direction. Yes. So we're just going to dig out a load of trenches, which will be our roads. And these will be like five wide, ready for stone brick stairs on either side and three down the middle. Right, so I'm going to be back when I've done a load of that. Starting to come together. We've got roads going off into the distance now and roads going off in places we can't see it. So let's see how much more we can do. Well, this is going to be a very lit up area. I've got loads of podiums ready for uh, street lighting. Probably too many, to be honest. We'll have to see. Once the buildings go up, then we'll know. So we've got to time our jumps just right. <laughs> Uh, because I don't want to have to stack up with uh, every blooming time I want to place one of these sea lands. So it's like a, a careful little jump. I'm managing to get it on top of the poles. I've got so much light in here, it's ridiculous. Here we go. So much light. I need to structure this tunnel. I'm not going to leave it like that either. That wouldn't look right at all. I want to look, at, look good. Here we go. Good job Frill had this shop, I tell you. Because not, I would be proper stuck for sea lanterns. Not the faintest idea. Why is that like that? That's because that is wrong. They should be full blocks. So I'll sort that out as well. Get that like that. We are nearly there, people. I reckon we're going to have an at least a landscaped base area. Um, by the end of the episode, I'll be really pleased. So I put quite a lot of lamps uh, with the little birch trap doors all over the place. So we've got a lot of lighting. I think it's too much. I think I'm going to have to take some of it out. It's overwhelming the entire base. But what I do need to do is get some more birch because I've run out. Wood is something I really is a premium for me. So I'm going to go and have a search for some birch. Oh, I just made a little poem because uh, I know there's going to be some birch, more than just that one, lurking around here. So I've got a little bit. Uh, there's a nice little birch forest there. Look, why don't we go there? Come up here. That's perfect. Look at that. I knew it weren't that far away. Now I've got to find somewhere to land that's not going to kill me <laughs> brilliant i'm getting good at that flying luck so i just need to collect up an absolute t boat ton a boat ton of birch and um then i can go back get all my trapdoors sorted and uh i think then i can probably make a decision as to how many of these lamps have got to come back down again because some of them definitely definitely do and the rest of it, I think I just need to start putting some buildings in and I'll have to think about what sort of buildings I want to put in because some of them are going to be aesthetic and some of them are going to be functional and I'm not entirely sure what to be honest. So maybe in the comments you have got some ideas. Whack in the comments below. What kinds of buildings do you think I should be putting here into Averville? Should I put, put in just purely aesthetic ones? If so, what kind? They've got to be in keeping with the rest of the base, remember? Should I be putting some functional ones, some other little mini farms? Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm just going to chop me wood. So I'm coming in over the avocado. <laughs> Amazing Wild and Jacks. And I'm coming to the base and we shall see what it looks like from the air just loop around the nether portal like this and that is just a crowd of lollipops but we've got absolutely stacks and stacks and stacks of street light in there so i'm actually quite pleased it's worked out quite well let's come into land there we go that was a bit sudden um 24 chooks coming on so i think i've got a decent basis now to be able to start getting some buildings so as i say sort it out people in the comments below what buildings should we be thinking about putting in either you know the style obviously it needs to be in keeping what uh sort of shapes what function if any do we want to be putting in here i'm just going to lob a couple of torches down because it's still dark um or at least seven or less in a number of areas around here so we're still getting some mobs spawning so i just improve the chances of it not happening and then basically me walking out in the in the morning and having a, a creeper eat my face clean off i came out earlier on and there was a baby zombie literally stood under the door in the shade 
and it had a right old go at me. Anyway, so that's where we are. I think that was fairly functional that particular day. I got got a lot done, I would say. A lot, lot done. So I'm very, very pleased. More to do, but I think we are getting there. If you have enjoyed the video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying it, and I'll keep on making these Alpha Craft videos. And also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club, and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.